My name is Denis. I am after all the, our SnapML project and I am leading our machine learning inference team. This is a team which working to make our machine learning models run very fast on all mobile devices. Hello, um, I am Nolan Kleha or always quoting something and uh, welcome to this little talk. And so I have been making uh, creative code for about 10 years and the focus has always been on computer vision because I've wanted to make these applications that actually help people have more accessible lives. While machine learning is training a computer to learn something without explicitly being told how to learn it. So it could be defined as giving computers a flawed framework of inspiration or intuition that drives their logic. That benefit is this incredibly efficient way of building logic that is also accurate. Some time ago, it was almost impossible to use machine learning on mobile devices because of the computation power. But uh, right now, like your mobile device is super fast and you are able to run a lot of modules. So machine learning being very efficient can make very meaningful conclusions from large amounts of data sets. And so you can get this extremely vague question built on thousands and thousands of pieces of data and actually get a small desired detail with the aid of this machine learning logic to output an answer to whatever your question that you are sending into that machine learning framework. Machine learning has a lot of benefits. Uh, first of all, it is the best way to process a huge amount of the images. Without machine learning, uh, you'll need to, to use a lot of people, for example, to recognize characters, to recognize numbers. Or, but now you can only use what you need to gather all this data. And you can use one algorithm for all of this to have one result. SnapML is a framework that is built to help users build with machine learning inside of Lens Studio. This makes machine learning more accessible to a wide array of Lens Studio users that are already excited about machine learning but might not know how to use machine learning. Uh, and they want to use it. They want to build a complex and beautiful solutions to these problems that they have in their imagination. Without SnapML, you need to create your own application for iOS, for Android. But uh, with SnapML, you can just download our Lens Studio, make a few clicks, and you may, can create Lens with your model. We can build a lot of different experiences. For example, face tracking was done using machine learning. You can change uh, your look. For example, like anime or baby lenses, they were very popular. Foot tracking lenses when you can track your foot in 3D dimensional space and you can put something on your leg. So SnapML can actually take something that's in the real life scene and sense it and react to it. And you are empowered to actually build that framework that defines what it's going to react to. Currently, there's all of these things that I'm working on. There's the 3D finger tracking and the natural language processing uh, that I'm building with SnapML. And I am extremely excited about building LiDAR functionality with SnapML. So here's the first example is I built a style transfer lens that learns style from a painting and applies it to the new LiDAR template in Lens Studio, and it allows me to have a shader across the material of that LiDAR mesh, that world mesh, and it creates this cool depth effect. One of the things that I thought was incredible was the anime lens, where it changes the person's face to anime. That's what I'm most excited about. And we are like one of the first companies who are doing these lenses. 
you can use a machine learning for anything you want. You can build ML lenses uh, without knowing how to code. We have a few partners where you can create machine learning model, just a, a few clicks in their website. I'm Dan Abdenor, co-founder and CEO of Fritz AI, based here in Boston, Massachusetts. And my background is all in computer science. So I started to see the things that were possible with machine learning and wanted to jump into that field so I could be a part of the future. In terms of augmented reality, I remember the earliest days of Snapchat and seeing some of the things that they did with mixed reality, and I wanted to make those tools part of my toolkit as well. Hi there, my name is Cristóbal Venezuela, and I'm one of the co-founders of Runway ML. Runway ML is a platform that allows creators of all kinds to use machine learning models in a very easy and intuitive way. We offer a bridge between creators and SnapML. So without having to learn an entirely new discipline like machine learning, uh, you can level up your team, create custom lenses based on machine learning, and not have to write a lot of code in order to make that happen. We try to make the entire process of machine learning from data collection through training and deployment, all seamless and easy and accessible for any type of creator. Runway ML is a platform that allows creators of all kinds to use machine learning models in a very easy and intuitive way. We have an active community of creators all over the world that are building ML-based projects with AR, VR, web-based, and video-based technologies. The first thing you'll notice is that Runway is a web platform. You can use it in any browser that you want. Uh, there's no need to install anything locally in your computer. You can browse different ML models for a variety of different tasks. Models can be added by the community. So if you're a developer and you already have a model, you can add that to Runway very easily. You can also browse existing models from other members of the community, and you can also download checkpoints and use them, let's say, into the SnapML platform. Let's say I have a video. I want to transform and apply uh, a style transfer uh, transformation to it. I can upload my video, select the model I want, and then see the result live in Runway. I can also host this model online, which means I can create a remote API endpoint to use the model um, with a cloud uh, service. I can also download the checkpoints if I want to, let's say, convert it to an ONNX or any other uh, framework and then run it locally in a device. You can also use models to generate images. So this is different. The images that you see here, this looks like a fish. This is not a real fish. This fish has been generated by a model that understood how to create images that looks like fish. A lot of creators have been using these techniques to create synthetic or generative images and videos inside their projects. Fritz AI was designed as a platform for creating anything that you want. But in terms of things that we've been able to do so far, we have a lot of very interesting style transfer models where you can take any piece of art and train a model on how to mimic it. We've also done uh, image labeling, object detection, image segmentation. For example, we have a mask detector that can see if someone's wearing a, a surgical mask or a COVID mask and draw a perfect boundary around it. And that can be used for all sorts of mixed reality experiences. I absolutely believe that the future of augmented reality will be based on machine learning. There's all sorts of intense tasks like depth estimation, occlusion, real-time 3D modeling that are powered by machine learning. So we believe that the augmented reality experiences of the future are going to be based on machine learning because those tasks are part of it. The next wave of creativity inside AR, inside VR, and inside video creation will be uh, with AI technologies being able to synthesize, being able to generate, being able to classify images and tags and content in real time would radically change how we interact with, uh, with media. If you're interested in learning more about Runway, definitely check out our website. We have resources and video tutorials to get you to get started uh, using ML models inside your projects. Um, if you're creating something with the Lens Studio, Definitely let us know because we're working on new optimizations on, on models that will allow you to connect runway capabilities with the Lens Studios directly so you can run things on device very fast. We also have an open residency for artists and uh, hackers and creators who want to explore and push the limits of creative technologies with AI and with AR. So let us know, uh, reach out to us, and I would love to hear more from you. I'd like creators to know that this is available today, that there is no technical limitation on what you can create. And as new things become possible, we'll be right here to make them uh, easier, more 
democratized and easy for anyone in the creator community to access. If you have cool ideas to implement, but you can't do it for some reason because of the lack of functionality from our site, please find me and we will fix it. Thank you.